Alright, we're back on Edgy Express. Sakura's Spirit is the game that we are currently playing. Uh, I was kind of you, hurting you, her. She was, I, don't, I don't feel good about this anymore. <laughs> oh, okay. You like my touch. Oh, God. Like my touch. Oh, so like it. <laughs> okay. Anyways, uh, dots. dots are <laughs> happening right now. So many dots. We got more dots here. That's uh, good. That's a good observation why by is Julia. There always dots. I mean, Swindle Poons. <laughs> and even more dots. Okay, I think we're racking up some good dot points here. <laughs> I think we're gonna win the game. Ah, damn it. Okay. Uh, bit of, a, bit of a setback. Sorry. Rays of sunlight stirred me back to life. A groan of annoyance. Why does he always groan of annoyance? Okay, like... Groan of annoyance. <laughs> a groan of annoyance leaving my mouth while I tried to get back onto my feet. Oh god, I got teleported. This is a foreign land. Some sort of ancient magic. Is it feudal I'm only Japan? mildly annoyed. I bet it's feudal Japan. I don't know what that is, nor do I care. I'm moving on. I felt a bit dizzy, but the first thing I noticed was that I was in feudal Japan. No, I was no longer at the shrine. Instead, it looked like a for the forest near the dojo. Of course, my first thought was to look around to see if I could find that girl from before, but not a trace of her presence remained. Damn. To make things even stranger, the path that I had followed amidst the trees seemed better maintained than I remembered. Should probably head home. That thought was cut short when the sound of several female voices could be heard nearby. God, they're fucking like wood sprites or something. Come and fuck your dick off. Oh my god, no, no, no I need that to continue. You're gonna take, you're gonna fuck out your soul. Uh, get back here! Hikage, stop them at once! Just what do you think I'm doing? I'm chasing them! I'm trying not to stop. I'm trying to. <laughs> I'm trying to stop them. Not trying, trying not, not to stop them. <laughs> yeah. I think they noticed what's missing on their summer. On their summer. They said that. Oh, you use this hammer. Hammer. <laughs> Keep running, little one. Or you might just make it. Oh my god. Just when I thought this day couldn't get any weirder, the sound of heavy footfalls could be heard nearby. Oh god, boobies. What in the world is going on here? It's raining nipples. <laughs> For those fox girls, I would prefer them as cat girls. Eh? I would prefer them as preferably beat. not an animal. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> Further ahead, I saw a couple of girls in fast pursuit. Of even more girls. Uh, however, there was something off about the scene. Something that didn't make any sense. They're all scantily cut. Um, the girls being chased had the ears and the tail of an animal, and the pursuers appeared to be armed with a katana and naginata. You conniving fox! Come back here at once! Return what you stole immediately! Give me back my panties! Oh. Ha ha ha! Hikage! How could you say something out loud like that? <laughs> panties, panties. <laughs> oh no. Help save us from the rampaging women. <laughs> As I watched the girls run off, I couldn't help but find myself struggling with the decision of whether to fuck them or not. No, um, to just what leave them be. What's the one's Aw, oh, dang it. <laughs> Is that an option? Um, well, I didn't- Fuck option! <laughs> Well, I didn't know what in the world was going on, the two girls armed with rather realistic looking props, surely they couldn't be real, had me worried. I couldn't very well call myself a hero if I let something like this go by without acting. I'm so going to regret this. Mumbling in annoyance, I chased after the girls. Hikage, go around to the left! Right! Nope, I said left! Why do you always undermine me? I wasn't saying right! I was... You know what, never mind, let's just run after them! As I was chasing the girls, I noticed that the trees seemed to be getting closer, making it gradually more difficult to navigate along the path. Onesama! I don't think I can run much more. I'm starting... I'm, I'm starting to feel a bit... 
just a little longer, Mako chan. We're almost. Mako! Mako, no! That, not now! Sorry, Onisama! Scissor attack! I thought I was. I, I don't know anymore. Wait, no. The red. And she's like. Teal. Okay, okay, okay. I'm warm colors, you're cool colors. How okay, about that? Yeah. Got it? Okay. Right. I arrived just in time to find a scene taken straight from an action movie. The girl with the blonde hair had collapsed, held in her companion's protective embrace, shielding their boobies. Um, the two armed girls were approaching them, almost unmistakably with killing instincts running amok. Any seasoned martial artists, uh, art martial artists would have felt it. Those girls were going to be in for a beating if I didn't stop them. We've got you now, thieves. I'm going to personally drag your sorry butts back to town and have you both put in the stocks. Maybe I'll even show you how it feels to run around with en without any undies on. Yeah. Ugh. Although, I must admit, having a breeze down there does feel kind of nice. Keeps me feeling fresh and tingly. That's highly inappropriate. Oh, God. Hikage! Goodness, don't you have any shame? This isn't about you. This is about our undergarments. Stolen! And these two criminals being brought to justice. Mm. Onisama, it hurts. My head hurts. Stop crying. <coughs> Shh. It's going to be okay, little one. Hey, guards, if you're so desperate to have your underwear back, then here, catch. Stop it right there. However, before I was able to interrupt the conversation, the silver-haired girl tossed something into the air. Whatever it was, it was flying straight towards my head. The two samurai girls instantly grew flustered. I can't see you! Who the hell tosses a- Peeling the items off my face, I raised them into the air, looking like a professor examining an important sample while the thieves made their escape. A pink bra and lacy black panties. Hmm. Oh boy. <laughs> I knew this wasn't going to end well. This is just what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> ah! You there. Are you in cahoots with those crafty foxes? And hand those back immediately. Those are evidence of a crime and not for anyone else to touch. Drop the panties right now! I'm innocent until proven guilty. It's one of those golden rules of the court. Just, just stop pointing those weapons at me so I can hand them over, hand over your uh, undies without being turned into a shish kebab. What? No, stop! Shut up! Just drop the evidence and walk away. I am Sukino Mio, chief of the village guards, and I am ordering you to drop what you're holding right now. Don't know any of village guards, and I seriously doubt a cop would go around dressed like that, wielding a katana. Just being honest. I mean, uh, more importantly, the ground here is muddy and dirty. Are you sure I should drop the evidence here? I mean, I could, but. Yeah. How? Before I could react, the pink-haired girl—that's red. Pink-haired girl. It's blood orange. Shut up! Just go <laughs> fucking die. The pink-haired girl lunged towards me, the pointy end of her naginata aiming for my gut. My reflexes caught on just in time, and I was able to palm away the spear as it sailed through the air. I struck upwards on the wooden shaft of the weapon, sending it up into the air, and causing the girl to lose her balance. Narumi, I did not order you to attack! Fine, fine, I'll give them back. Jesus. I luck to find a bunch of crazy girls with weapons. Extending the hand that held the undies, I tried to hand them over, something that I would soon end up regretting, because then they lopped off my hand. Ha! You think I fall for something so simple? Fool! You may have fooled me once, but I won't let that happen again! Okay. The woman swung her weapon wide. Arcing? Arcing? Arcing. The thick wooden pole into my side, before I could dodge. She then lunged forwards and grabbed me tightly, pulling my arms around behind my back, leaving me with sore ribs and a prone and in a prone position. Oh, I, we're out of time. <laughs> Shit. Alright, uh, next time on uh, Sakura Spirit. Bye! Stuff happens. Bye!